Welcome back to The Reading Corner with Mrs. G. For more great stories, subscribe here. And everybody loves the big red dog, Clifford. So for some Clifford stories, check out The Reading Corner. We have Clifford Goes to Hollywood, Clifford at the Circus, um, Clifford's first day of school, Clifford and he tells the story of the three little pigs. Today, we're gonna do Clifford Goes to Hollywood. So, you know Clifford and his friend, owner, Emily Elizabeth? All right, so she tells the story. This is my dog, Clifford. We do a lot of things together. We swim together. We play ball together. In winter, we go sliding together. One day, a man stopped us and asked if Clifford would like to be in a movie. Clifford had to take a screen test. The man told him to act happy. Clifford acted happy. Then he asked him to act angry. Then Clifford had to pretend to be in love. The man told him to act frightened. He did. Clifford acted sad. The man said Clifford was a terrific actor. He wanted him to be in a movie. The next day, they took Clifford to Hollywood. We hated to see him go. When the movie was finished, Everybody said Clifford was the best actor in the world. Clifford was a star. In Hollywood, they built him a big doghouse, the kind of movie star should have. They brought him fancy dishes and brought him special things to eat. Clifford's dog collars were made of gold and expensive fur some were covered with diamonds. He even had a swimming pool shaped like a bone. Clifford loved being a star. They put his footprint in the cement on Hollywood Boulevard, just like the other stars. Everywhere he went, he was surrounded by mobs of movie fans. They all wanted souvenirs. His fans were everywhere. There were a lot of parties. Clifford got tired of them, but they said movie stars have to go to a lot of parties. I saw Clifford on a television talk show. I thought he looked a little sad. One day, he looked over the wall and saw a girl playing with her dog. He missed me. Clifford was tired of being a star. That night, he jumped over the wall. He left all the fancy dishes and collars and parties behind. Clifford came home, and he's home to stay. He'd rather be with me than in Hollywood. I'm glad he loves me as much as I love him. Yay, Clifford's back home with Emily Elizabeth. Might have been fun while it lasted. Movies are kind of fun to watch. Books are better. All right, so we'll see you next time in the Reading Corner with Mrs. G.